This bars quilt was the first Amish quilt that Gallant I ever found. And it was covering the springs of a brass bed in a little antique shop on Route 30 in Pennsylvania, one of our stops in our, what had become an endless quest for quilts. And um, we'd never seen anything like it. And to me, it was one of the most astounding quilts I'd ever seen. And so I called Gail upstairs and I said, God, look at this, some demented angel. And, All right, now be calm, go downstairs and we'll talk to the guy. So we went downstairs and I said, you know, there's this old quilt over the bed up there. What do you want for it? He said, no, no, you got to buy the bed too. I said, look, we travel a one in a Volkswagen bus. We sleep in the back. How are we going to take, we, we just really want the quilt. He said, well, okay. The whole thing is $11. So if you just want the quilt, you got to pay me half plus a little more. So it's $5.75 for the quilt. I couldn't believe it. We'd never seen a quilt like this, so we did what we did with all of our quilts then. We took it up and hung it up in our apartment and looked at it and took a picture. And then we started looking through all the books we were frantically researching in, trying to learn as much as we could about quilts. Nothing like this turned up. And I thought, all right, it's some, as I said, some demented angel made it. It's a unique thing. But then I looked at it carefully, and it was clear from what I knew about art in general that nothing this formal, this perfect, uh, could have been a, a, a unique uh, example. Things like that don't come out of folk culture. Unique things like that don't come out of folk culture. They're not kind of Picasso breakthroughs in the same way we see them in the, the so-called high art world. So we started carrying this quilt around and showing it to dealers and antique dealers and people all over Pennsylvania. And no one said, I don't know, finally someone said, that is one of those dark old Amish quilts. No one wants them. And we said, well, do you think you could find us a few more? Because we would like them. And soon, of course, we discovered that this was one of the, the extraordinary, unique body of Amish quilts, which is one of the great uh, contributions the Amish have made to American aesthetic society. This one still is my favorite, still the most beautiful one I ever saw. And that's not just nostalgia, it's, it's an amazing work of our